the Nothing Ear Stick is really what the AirPods is to the AirPods Pro. It's a different fit without noise isolating ear tips. This means no noise cancellation or even noise blocking. Basically, you'll be exposing your ears to ambient noise while listening to your favorite podcasts, playlists, but that's okay. Not everyone likes or needs noise cancelling. Maybe you just want some great sound, pristine call quality, something unique and rarely seen. In this video, we're gonna test its sound and call quality and compare it to the most popular open fit style earbuds, the AirPods Generation 3. And then I'm gonna talk about whether the Nothing Ear Stick is a smash or pass. Very simple. I've split this video into chapters, so if you want to, you can navigate to the parts you're interested in. And if you want to see more comparisons like this one, get subscribed and tap the bell button to stay notified for more videos. The Nothing Ear Stick packs 12.6mm drivers, and what's interesting is that nothing has completely grilled over the driver cavity such that it's flush. It looks great, but it doesn't look very acoustically transparent to be honest. They do have a very light fit. It's not gonna fall off easily in everyday use, but they don't seem to be snug enough not to fly out of my ears if I'm running, doing push-ups, or getting jump scared at Halloween parties. You know, hypothetical things, both the exercising and the parties. You can use both sides individually for calls and music, now, it doesn't have touch controls like the Nothing Ear 1. Instead, just like the AirPods, you pinch on the stem to control your music and calls. And they've also included volume controls and making controls customizable through the Nothing X app. The app also allows you to toggle the buds into a low latency mode specifically for gaming and to customize its sound quality, which I'll go into a lot more later. On paper, it's got up to 7 hours of battery in the earbuds and up to 29 hours with its charging case. That is within current day averages, so it's not considered too bad at all. The case is transparent on the outside so that you can see inside for that quick check. Are my buds in there? Are they charging? I'm not gonna lie, it can be smaller and this is definitely not the most portable case. And if it's in your pocket, it's very noticeable like are those earbuds or are you just happy to see me what i'm not noticing here is wireless charging this doesn't have that which is a missed opportunity but not a deal breaker what is a deal breaker for most people is bad call quality so we're gonna test that right now nothing says they've improved the ear sticks mic pickup over the ear one but we're not just gonna compare it to the ear one and call it a day we're also going to compare it to the third generation AirPods just to see how different it performs from one of the best in the market. We're going to test its call quality in both quiet and noisy conditions using some really loud cafe style background noise and some wind noise coming from this fan over here. I'm now making a phone call in a quiet place using the Nothing Ear Stick. I am now making a phone call in a quiet place using the Nothing Ear 1. I am now making a phone call in a quiet place using the AirPods 3rd generation. I'm now making a phone call in a noisy place using the Nothing Air Stick. I'm now making a phone call in a noisy place using the Nothing Air One. I'm now making a phone call in a noisy place using the AirPods third generation.
the ear stake was no doubt outperforming the ear one which is supposed to be the flagship nothing product especially in noisy conditions the filtering of that noise was cleaner on the stick and it didn't make my voice sound as robotic as on the ear one in fact it is actually closer to the airpods in terms of voice quality while it applies a more aggressive noise gating filter my voice on the airpods sounded the cleanest but you could still hear the background hissing which can be a little distracting to the listener but not so with the ear stick so if i were to rank them the airpods will still come in first yes but the ear stick is a close second the ear one well a little more work needs to be done now let's talk about its sound i was expecting to be impressed to be honest it does look like the airpods 3 has bigger drivers than the airpods 3 but it doesn't sound anywhere like it now i wouldn't say that it doesn't have bass you can still feel the gravity of bass drops but it's got a lot less punch impact or weight than i'm used to on the airpods 3. instead its tuning seems to be very mid-range focused to the point of sounding a bit too bright and sibilant in the midst you hear that a lot more with female vocalists have a listen If you want to compare the ear stick sound quality to other earbuds, visit loudandwireless.com's sound samples page, link in the description. So I'm not very impressed with its out-of-box sound signature. This frequency sweep shows that the ear one has less gain in the bass than the AirPods 3. And what are these big spikes in the treble? I mean, that could explain why it sounds like it's got so much more sizzle, so much more heat. Now, some people may dig that kind of sound signature, but I personally prefer a smoother, warmer sound. However, we've got the Nothing X app, which does let us customize its sound. It's got a few EQ presets and a graphic EQ, so you can tune its sound somewhat to your liking, but for me, None of the presets sounded fine. They all made the earbuds sound more sibilant and I could only get decent results with the three band graphic EQ by maxing the bass and cutting the mids all the way. Still, it's nowhere near my ideal sound. So, big drivers, great, but I'm not impressed, to be honest. It just needs a better graphic EQ that's capable of more granular tuning. Overall, I would describe the Nothing Ear Stick as an ambitious effort. Definitely something to look at if you were looking at the Ear One. Maybe you liked that transparent design, that build quality, but you prefer a more open, less intrusive fit. A fit that keeps you aware of your surroundings at all times. Something light enough that you can wear all day without noticing that it's even there. For sure, the ear stick can be better. I want it to sound more dynamic. I want it to have wireless charging. And yes, it would be nice if its case was smaller considering the competition. But overall, I wouldn't say it's a hard pass. It's a maybe pass, maybe smash because it is a pretty different product from all the typical cookie cutter AirPods clones. Feels more like a collectible than something I will daily drive, to be honest, but what do you think? Leave your comments below. And if you don't want to miss out on more comparisons like this one, get subscribed and tap the bell button to stay notified. Thanks for watching, smash like and share if you like this video, it helps a lot. I'm also on Discord, so if you have Discord, 
come and join the chat. Link is in the description. Click here to get my take on the Nothing Ear One, which is a pretty unique product in of itself, or watch another video from this channel.